What's up guys, welcome to Tech Breakdown. And we got something really crazy. 2020 has been so amazing, not crazily amazing. Unexpected things are happening in this year. There is something. The iPhone just launched the iPhone SE2, which is probably you need to know about something. So without any further ado, let's get started. And wait, wait, wait. There's something for you in the video. Yeah, you would like it. It is not a leak or anything. It's a giveaway. But let's get started. Welcome to the deck breakdown. So 2020 is really weird actually. So many different things are happening. When somebody told you that I bought a brand new iPhone which is just released, you would set back that it would have spent a thousand dollars. That is so true because iPhone was the one who trend make the trend for the one thousand dollars. And if somebody told you come to you and told you that I bought a new OnePlus phone, you might be thinking okay you just spent 500, 600 or max. $650 on the phone, yeah. But now the crazy thing is, yesterday, OnePlus launched a phone with a price tag of $999. That's crazy. And today, iPhone launched a phone, the iPhone SE, with a price tag of $399. That is so weird. But iPhone 9 is actually a, made, a really good smartphone. Because you know what is the difference? iPhone SE is housing the same body as iPhone 8. We are having front and back glass with aluminum casing around it. And it is so much same as the iPhone 8. So a closure is almost iPhone 8 with the 4.7 inch IPS LCD display, which we hope from iPhone 8, that is so true. But front and back glass is so awesome. Another thing which we are having is the wireless charging. IP67 water and dust resistance. So we are having some premium features at a price of $400, which we're not getting even in the OnePlus 8, which cost double. It's $699 or $799, so it is cost much more. We are not getting in OnePlus, but we are getting in iPhone. That is crazy. But another thing is, it is packing the specification of the iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, the bigger brother. So we are having a 13 bionic chip, which is faster. The camera is 12 megapixel back single camera, which is going to be recording at 4K 60. Yes, it supports 4K 60 due to that a 13 bionic chip. And it also supports the extended dynamic range, which iPhone whole series 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max are having. But the limitation is it record up to 4K 30. So that doesn't, that is not a huge drawback. But hey, it's there. That is so pumped and it's also supporting of 18 watt fast charging, which we are getting in iPhone 11. So what is the difference? The difference is the design. We are having the outdated design as the iPhone 8. It is same as the iPhone 8. The difference is they have changed the design of Apple logo from upper side to middle as they've seen in the iPhone. So it is good. I actually kind of like this smartphone and this smartphone would sell like a hot cakes, even though it is same as the people who are using well, the phone's chunky bezels and touch ID is finally back. I know so many of people face ID is secure, it is good, but now people actually miss touch ID. And finally, we are having it. And if you want to give a phone to your parent or some age person or someone, you don't spend a whole lot of money, but they can get, or you, even you want a secondary phone just for your business. I don't know what is your use of secondary phone. Maybe you have a good Android phone, maybe Note Series S20 Ultra, which you just bought, which you just smacked $1,300, $1,400 in useless thing. You want an iPhone which performs good, but you don't want to cash in a whole pile of money. You can go for iPhone 8. And it is, it is having all the features, except design. Oh, I can live with that. And about that giveaway, if this video hits 5,000 likes, I know it doesn't hit five likes at all, but suddenly, let's say if it's 5,000 likes, I would be giving away the iPhone SE2. But the condition is actually after the COVID-19 pandemic is over, results will be announced after that if it's 5,000 likes. So stay tuned, like this video. I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Peace out.